This is my Morocco travel vlog, part two, the Argonne Oil Women's Cooperative in Essaouira. Hey everyone, my name is Haley, and this is Plain de Champagne, your solo girl's guide to travel. We left Marrakesh in the early afternoon. If you want to see my video about arriving to Morocco and exploring Marrakesh, click here. I boarded the bus with my group from Travel Talk Tours, and we headed towards the coast of Morocco. We had a few stops along the way to break up the drive, which was nice. The first was a little lunch spot. We got some sandwiches, nothing special. Then we got back on the road. When driving in Morocco, you might see goats up in a tree. And no, I'm not kidding. Goats climb up trees to eat the pulp of argon trees. Now, our tour guide said this one's actually fake, and the owners collect a few cents from tourists driving by. But they actually do exist in real life. If you want to see a real one, you have to get up very early in the morning, he said. Our next stop was the Argon Oil Women's Cooperative. You're probably most familiar with argon oil that you put in your hair to help prevent frizz. But you can also use argon oil as a moisturizer, and there's a food grade argon oil too that you can use for cooking. This cooperative was started to help local communities compete with the foreign owned pressing plants. And actually this argon oil is of a much higher quality than what we would find in the United States. But it is a very labor intensive process, but it helps employ local women. The women were so sweet and invited me to sit down to give it a go for myself. I'm here at the Argonne Women's Co Cooperative. The Argonne yes. Women's Cooperative, you know, they're putting me to work. It smells so good. It really okay. does. It's hard to imagine, but the women only make nine US dollars per day. But to them, that's actually a very livable wage, or so I read. Truly, this is a great place to buy souvenirs that you'll actually use. And finally, we arrived at our hotel in Essaouira. And we had some free time to check out the beach. This was our first camel spotting. Exciting as you can imagine. But be careful. If you're taking pictures and videos, you might get roped into paying the owner. This goes for anything in Morocco. Agree to an amount before you take your camera out. But in this case, we just kept some distance. After that, we met back up with our group for a little tour of Essaouira. Essaouira is a port city that's most popular in the summer months as a resort destination, for surfing mostly. We checked out the 18th century Old Town. And enjoyed the sunset. Tonight we did dinner on our own. We stumbled upon this little Moroccan restaurant that's actually owned by French people, aka they served wine. We enjoyed a free magic show. That's for you only. Close it. Close it. No more. That's open. 
Oh, I like Wait. this one. That's why right, Evelyn just said, that's for you. Okay. Close your hand. What's your name? Kayleigh. Kayleigh, watch. Just there, Kayleigh. Open. Yes. That's for you. <laughs> Open. Couscous. And finished our night off with a delicious chocolate dessert. The next morning, we were off to the famous Casablanca. But that's for the next video. If you found this video helpful, make sure you subscribe. And if you want to stay updated on when the next Morocco video comes out, hit that little bell. And as always, you can find more information and links to all of these places on my website at plaindechampagne.com. Thanks for watching. Cheers.